Hey you, yes you. Make sure you hit the like button and share the video if you haven't already. Make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter. And if you do these things, then you will receive your very own Pokeball. Yeah, that's right, a Pokeball. No scam at all. It'll be delivered to your house within five seconds of you hitting the like button, sharing, subscribing, and following. But yeah, guys, let's get into the video. Top of the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, top of the trap mail. A rap and a black man, how you think I made it in the game? It's a rat tail, never made a Hey guys, what's going on? Tim Pese, and in today's video, I'll be talking to you guys about how you can make your YouTube videos a lot better quality in a few simple steps. We'll be talking about um, the equipment you might need, like a microphone or um, a webcam, and we'll be talking about recording softwares and editing softwares that you might need when recording your videos. But before this, I'd just like to say I'm going to send this video out to uh, Steven Van's Spotlight video and hopefully get chosen for him. Um, you know, he's got great quality videos, really good. Uh, I watch him all the time and he's big, uh, like a big inspiration. He's got loads of subscribers and that it just shows it's because it's videos are really good so make sure you check them out if you've not already but yeah let's get into the video so first thing guys uh, we're going to talk about uh, recording softwares so what I use is actually OBS or oh, I use Bandicam um, I use Bandicam because it's good quality maybe it's not as good as OBS so Bandicam is actually free but you can buy the full version and like not have the logos or watermarks on the screen but it's a really good software recording 60 FPS really good quality um, and actually when you're recording something like CSGO or Minecraft it does not lag it out very much at all literally no lag at all whereas if you use something like Fraps or OBS it will lag it out a bit more depending on your computer um, if when I use OBS it does lag it out a little bit but you can't really tell but with Bandicam it's really smooth so um, yeah I do recommend Bandicam if you don't really have a good computer but if you do have a good computer, um, I recommend using OBS. OBS is really good, it's got loads of different features, you can add like um, webcam overlays and all that type of stuff, you can edit it and move it around. And there's just lots of different, um, there's lots of different settings you can use um, and change around if you're not happy with them. Yeah, like if your computer can't run 60 FPS, you can change that down just like Bandicam. But yeah, it's just a really good software. Probably for people with better computers, uh, you should use OBS. But then there's Fraps as well. I personally don't use Fraps. I used to use Fraps back in the days, but now I don't. And I've just chosen to stick with OBS. It's very similar to um, OBS, but I don't think Fraps has got as many options to change, like um, webcam overlays and all that type of stuff. But yeah guys, um, these are probably my top three um, recording softwares that you guys should choose because um, just for me, yeah, from personal experience, they've been really good and yeah, make sure you get these if you want to record some videos. So the next thing guys we're going to talk about is editing softwares. Now there's two that I've really got in mind that is uh, for me probably the best too. So for the first um, editing software we have gone with Camtasia. Um, it's a really good one, more simple, uh, it's really easy to use for those of you who um, are new to editing, it's just really simple stuff. You'll be able to find loads of tutorials on YouTube, um, it's just easy to get your head around and it does perform similar functions to other um, editing softwares but maybe not as high standard. But it is a lot easier to um, edit than most uh, recording softwares. But the next thing we're going to uh, talk about is Sony Vegas. Now this is the one that I use. It's um, really good. I think, yeah, you do have to pay for it. Or I don't know, you could get for it for free. I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, I got um, Sony Vegas and it's really good. There's lots of different settings you can choose. Loads of um, built-in features that just improve it so much. Uh, it's really easy to edit once you get your head around it. There's uh, lots of simple things. Um, there's lots of um, little features that can make your videos so much better. And it does not take a long time to render. It does not lag it out or anything. It's just easy and um, works really well for me. It's probably the, um, it's probably my favourite um, editing software out of them. And I think it's one of the best. I'm not too sure. I'm not I don't really know any other types of. Um, editing softwares but I do know that this one is up there. The next thing guys we're going to talk about is um, equipment you might need. Now for microphones 
you can use headsets. Um, I'm not. I don't really use headsets. I just use um, microphones. Um, but the, for me, the best microphone, best cheap, um, well, cheap kind of cheap uh, microphone that um, I really like is the Samsung Meteor mic. And this microphone is really good quality. Um, no like background so sound or anything. Maybe you might need a pop filter with it to reduce the S sounds. But other than that, it's really, really good quality. I don't have to do much editing in um, like Audacity and all that type of stuff. But yeah, it's a really good mic. You can find it on the internet for quite cheap. But yeah guys, another thing that I've, I forgot to mention is um, a really good um, voice editing software is Audacity. It's really easy to use. I'm using it right now. Um, it's just really, you can make your voice sound a lot better um, if you don't like the sound of your own voice. Just uh, You can change it in loads of different ways. And it's really easy to um, convert it to like MP4 and stuff like that. Uh, if you just look on YouTube how to um, use Audacity, it's really easy and um, I've not even been using that it for that long to be honest, but um, I've really quickly got my head around it, so you guys should check it out. And the next thing we're going to talk about is webcams. Now I've just gone with one webcam here and it's the Logitech HD webcam, I'll put a link in the description, I don't know if I said that right, but it's a Logitech webcam, it's really good, top of the range. It's my, I think it's quite expensive, but it's really good quality, it's really definitely worth it, so you guys should check it out. Uh, it records 1080p, 60fps, so you should, yeah, it's really good for just beginners. If you don't, um, if you don't use like proper quality cameras, you can use webcams like this. So make sure you check it out. But yeah, guys, that's all of the things we're going to talk about today. Um, I hope you have enjoyed. I hope this helps a little bit. It's a very um, short video. I'm sorry I didn't upload yesterday, but I was really busy. I didn't have time to do anything. But make sure you stay tuned for uh, upcoming videos this week. I'll be uploading daily, hopefully. So make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. I think we're getting really, really close to 2K now. Um, and comment down below what you guys want to see from me in the next video. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.